when two or more citizens of proven bad character are seen together. That's consorting. Six bookings. We can lock him away for six months. Guido Caletti is back in town. He doesn't have a wife or kids to be running home to. When you slip in beside Mrs. Green later on, think about where I might be. You work for me now. Go yourself a bone if I push. Hello, boys. <laughs> no one can know that this came from me. Nobody move! Hey, I'm in fright! Hey, Sid, I own you. There's no bloody justice in the world. How do you think the coppers got onto our pal Herbert that night? If you're calling me a dog, you better be able to prove it. I can't wait to feel me big man's arms around me. Tilly! What have you done to me fucking shoe? Fucking London, these are cost a fortune! I'm more than you deserve, you scraggy bitch! You'll pay for this, Jim. Mark my words. Defense. Call it what you like. We're calling it attempted murder. I was just trying to pacify her. Firing at her with a 303 over her head. I wasn't trying to kill her. Found Hubby in bed with a housekeeper. She started yelling, he started shooting. Well, how'd he miss? That woman's got three miles in front. So what do we do? Well, we lock him up in the attempted murder charge, her for contravening her conditions of bail. We'll let both divines in the lockup by lunchtime. No, we won't. She's not breaking the law. Well, she has to be. She was sent to London for two years. She's back inside four months. She left the country. The charges were withdrawn. There's nothing we can hold her on. Tilly! Tilly, open up, you bitch! Open up! I want to talk to you! Talk to the judge, you murdering bastard! And how come you ain't in jail anyway? Frank bailed me. I know your son. Put it on me, tab. Tilly, please! If you don't withdraw the charges, I'm going to jail permanent. Yeah, good, it's where you belong. Firing a rifle at your own wife! Oh, Tilly! I'll see you in court. Vindictive bitch! She's supposed to stay in London for another year. She gets to come back home scot free. Probably sitting up there like the Queen of England herself. I'm not letting that bitch strut back into town like she owns a place. If the law won't take care of her, I will. Ow, oh, we haven't got any muscle. Well, we'll find some. Who? We must be a hundred hungry bugs sitting spitting distance from the door he jumped through hoops of tuppence. Yeah, but only half of us know how to use a gun. Half again to shoot straight. Good luck finding one with the balls enough to shoot at all. Maybe we don't have to worry about Tilly anymore. Big Jim kicked her out of Maroubra. If he's stuck there and she's stuck in Palmer Street, what harm can they do anyway? Got a visitor. Huh? Come to his senses at last. It ain't Jim. Mrs. Lee. This is a surprise. Do you miss me? 
Had your back. So London didn't work out for you then. Home is where the heart is. Funny, that. Because I heard that your hubby kicked you out of your home. Chased you with the 303, I believe. So your marriage has pretty much fallen off the truck then. What do you want? Well, seeing as you're in reduced circumstances and feeling for you, as I do, I've come to you with an offer. A job. You can work behind my bar to keep you going. Very funny, Mrs <laughs> Lee. The height of comedy. <laughs> what do you know about marriage, eh? You never could find a bloke that could stand to be in the same room as you for more than a month. You drive him off. Every single one. They fuck you for a bit, and then they're gone. Jim and I are married for life. You'll never know what that is. You'll die alone. And you'll die sooner than you think. Conflict wasn't confined to Razorhurst. Italian dictator Benito Mussolini declared the 20th century would be the fascist century. And in the 1930s, like-minded men all over the world rallied to his cry, hell-bent on stamping out liberalism, democracy, socialism, and all other moral corruptions. Not much of a picture. Yeah. Crime in Darlinghurst, eh? Police are barely making a dent. I am the police, mate. I know. Frank de Groot. You got your work cut out for you. Without having to worry about the commies as well. We are not your enemy, Mr. Wickham. And you guard are here to help. I've had the landlord on my back. I'll talk to him. Knows we're good for it. Grocery money, at least. This won't even cover what's already on the tick. Oh, I said I'll take care of it. Can you look to the baby? Pink off again. I should take her to the doctor, but so long as we don't have two pennies to rub together. Maybe we should go home. My home, Mama and Pa, to Niloquin. To farm? Well, they haven't got two sticks to rub together. But they've got a garden and chooks. They've got food on the table. I've got money coming, all right? The Devines owe me. Owen and Payen. They're two different things, Frank. This is the sort of shit that man comes home to. I might as well not bother. something for you. Well, you think I'm stupid? Well, you are if you think I'm going to shoot you. You want to pay me? I want to give you a job. Five quid there. One of those every week you work for me. What sort of dog do you think I am? Turn on me, mate. Well, they've been your mate, have they, Frank? What sort of mate was Big Jim at your murder trial? Where was he when you were in jail? Hmm? Doesn't sound like a mate to me. 
You don't buy me. You keep it. Just for thinking, man. Guido and his jailbird mates were doing quite nicely for themselves, but he wanted a bigger slice of the Razorhurst pie. Al Capone didn't get to the top just rolling drunks, now did he? Go make us some money, sweetheart. Where are you going? Talk business. Hey, what? We've been following your people for a week. Can't seem to get a coke supplier. Now someone's bringing her the shit. We just got to intercept Kate's coke supply on Wooshka. She's out. We're in. Did you talk to Frank Gray? How'd you get on with the little gum nut? You better not be calling him that if he comes to our side. Are you sure it's such a good idea? It's not about us getting him. It's about her losing him. Two birds, one fucking stone. You heard anything from Jim? You still charging him? All he's got to do is apologise. Better hurry up to it. Makes the business look weak, him being down there, me up here. Anyway, what about you? Who are you with now, Frank? Guido? Someone new? Frank. <laughs> Honestly, Nelly, I can't keep up. What, you're a roster or something? How do you decide? Well, it's all fun and games when the sun's shining. When the Titanic goes down, you want to make sure you're one of the ones on a life raft. What's the hurry? How old were you when you and Big Jim got married? Sixteen. Oh, fuck! Come on, Blizzard, not the fucking consortium again! Number six for you, Miss Cameron. So what? Who's counting? Well, you should have been. Six it's charges in six months. Automatic jail oh, to... What? 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 Nugget! No! You know the rules, Tilly. Nugget! Nellie made bail, but she knew she was done for. Her appeal would surely fail, and she'd be sent to Long Bay for six months. Six long, lonely months in jail. And the one thing Nellie couldn't stand was being bored. Why can't I have a sherry? You can, in the ladies' lounge. It's full of women. I prefer the company of men. Nellie, your presence here discomforts the male clientele. OK, so... Are you discomforted by my presence? One sherry. One. Is 
lost a lot of blood. Wait. You're going to take me into trouble, God. 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 I believe in having a good time. I believe in never being on my own. So did you see anything? Uh, did you hear anything? Uh, well, I heard the shots, but... Hey. Like somebody's wandering around with a bullet in them. They won't be wandering around for long then, will they? This, uh, this pub shooting got anything to do with Tully Devane being back in town? I don't think so. With Tilly planning to give evidence against her hubby, both sides are laying low. Nah, it looked like a straightforward bar fight to me. Mm -hmm. Times are hard, blokes are on edge. You don't think this new guard's not involved, do you? I've been looking at the weekly crime reports. It's a big increase in assaults. Like I say, times are hard. Aye, but it's a dozen arrests at a time. All on Friday nights. And every time the workers have a meeting, the new guard turns up to bash them. If blokes with different points of view want to thump it out of each other, just let them get it out of the system, mate. Oh, you think we should leave them to assault each other? We've got bigger things to worry about. Right. Coke peddling, sly grog, prostitution, consorting, raises. Surely it's more important to lock up the likes of Kate Lee and the Divines than it is to chase a couple of rival footy teams. You think that's all this new guy does? What else could it be? Bill Mackay was right to worry. Times were desperate. The working man was fighting back and the new guard was ready, willing and able to meet this communist threat. You're calling for your old man. What? Just a silly dream. They said that I was... You're fine. They got two bullets out. One's still in there. Souvenir. Just get yourself and you go. What's the point? I'm going to jail. Six months. Excuse me. You had this with you. It's a bit of a mess, but I thought you'd want it. Look nice. Warm. Well, let's go. I'm serious. Let's go north. Queensland. Just you and me. But your wife. All I care about is you. You'd leave her and the kid. Yes. <laughs> Queensland.
guns. Shouldn't we be treated the same as the men? I'm more interested in the job than the politics. But even Nellie Cameron gets paid more than we do. Nellie? Nellie Cameron is the most dangerous woman in Sydney, more dangerous than Kate and Tilly put together. Anyone here? Yeah, hey, guess a minute. Men are like moths to a flame with Nellie. She'll get someone killed one of these days. Do you think she does it with women? You know, for money? Good Lord, no. Nellie's not like that. I bet she doesn't have to fight the men for her own bathroom. If female police officers are to be taken seriously, we should worry about the job, not the amenities. Can't you, Lord, hold it in? <sighs> Jim, it's Frank. You want to lift where? Newcastle. We'll be right from there. That's a fair way, mate. And I've uh, <clears throat> got quite a bit on. She's really bad, Jim. I need to get her to a hospital. I've got to pop a bit of oil in the car, then call past me bookie on the way, then, uh, then I'll be on the road, all right? Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. Thanks. He's on his way. Superintendent, my boss would like a quick word. Who's your boss? He's outside. I'd like to speak in private. Well, I don't speak in private, so whoever your boss is, you can come in here and line up like everyone else. My boss is Jack Lang. Problem. I'm told you're the man to fix it. Sir? The new guard. I want them stopped. Stopped from what? Organising. Membership. Drills. Mobilising against the Red Menace. Wars with different opinions. Thumping each other on weekends. My informants tell me that the new guard has already got over 10,000 members. That means they outmatch you lot three to one. And they're building fast. Now, I don't care about your politics, and I don't ask you to share mine, but if you don't stop them... There'll be a civil war in this state. Sir, so, uh, if there's such a threat, you can use the parliament and not laws. Parliament? Bunch of jumped up chemists and lawyers. Uh, still, but this conversation. I'm reorganizing the police force. Single command, one leader, all the power he needs. Make decisions, carry them through. Well, a senior inspector. Police commissioner. But I'll tell you what, Bill. You stop the new guard. You'll be that commissioner. Well, that wouldn't be a bribe. Slice it how you like, Bill. That's what I'm offering. He'll be here soon. Just want to be warm. Once we get you to hospital, you'll be as right as rain. Uh, we'll get those stitches fixed up, and we'll jump a train. We'd be in Brisbane by breakfast. I still remember the first time I met you. You turned up at Tilly's looking for a job. <sighs> yeah. At the hospital. When you were waking up now. You were calling for you. For your dad. He alive. I mean, do you have a family now? What? You wondering who to call if I croak? My dad. My real dad. He was a soldier. Died over there. When he came home. A 
the mother he married. I promised myself then, never go back. Never go back. Nell, Nell, wake up, wake up, come on, come on, get up, come on, on your feet, on your feet, this is killing you now, Jim, he ain't coming, fuck him, fuck all of them, just, just you me, thank you, means then, you'll die, die if I go back, Wife. Frankie. He you left your wife. Frank. She left you. Cameron survived, but she didn't make it to Queensland and she'd get six months for the consorting charge she tried to run away from. But worse than that, she'd lost her faith in Frank Green. <laughs> Meanwhile, the game was changing down Maroubra way. For the first time ever, Tilly Devine was about to testify against her husband, Jim. Or so he thought. No, wait. And he should stab in the throat with it! Must mean you love me if you love me, Mr. Did he ask for me? You ain't asking, I ain't going. Maybe he just needs some help remembering how important I am to him. you. 
I've had word that the new guard intends to raid a workers' meeting in Darlinghurst tonight. I thought it was a drunk raid. Now, I don't care whether you believe in the new guard or not. I don't care whether you're Nationalist, Labour Party, or Communist Party. In this city, we don't let any political group decide who gets bashed and who doesn't, right? We decide who gets bashed. I decide. So, get out of there and belt their bloody heads off, right? Go, boys. We thought Jack Lang would save us, but has anything changed? No! We got more food on our table. No! More money in our pockets. No! Has Jack Lang given us the jobs he promised? Man, Superintendent William Mackay, and why in my town to Groot, you answer to me. You're under arrest for inciting a riot. These men are enemies of the state. We're helping you. That's bullshit. I don't need your help, thank you, Mr. De Groot. You can't even control the vice in this suburb. You've got two women running the show. You sly grog, cocaine, brothels. Yeah. yeah. There are enough communists in the eastern suburbs alone to stage a Stalinist uprising. How is your tiny police force going to stop them? The same way we're stopping you now, right? You've got nowhere near the numbers we've got. You need us. Really? You! You're in the new guard. Take them away, charge a lot of them. And you, come with me. Joining groups like these? What the hell? They're on our side, Bill. They want to help the police. They want to take the government over. We're on the brink of a civil war here, mate, and I will do everything in my power to stop that happening. You want to sign up with groups like these? Then maybe this isn't the right job for you. All I want to do is my job, Bill. What? Crims. They're the ones we should be after, Kate and Tilly. If we can't deliver on simple law and order, then what good are we? Your mates here. They plan to take control of the state. Did you know that? Aye. So right now, stopping them is a bit more important than locking up the likes of Kate Lee. So you squash the new guard? What's in it for you? That's what I thought. That was great. A job well done. We'd better wash up. I, I have something that I want to show you. Ta-da! Hold! I asked and he said yes. Asked who? Bill Mackay. He said no one had asked him before. Of course, it didn't hurt that I battered my eyelids at him. It's <laughs> Superintendent Mackay. I'm sorry. I, I wanted to surprise you. I'm, I'm terribly sorry if I've offended you. Of course not. Well done. Taking initiative. Excellent. I hate to offend you. I think the world of you, Miss Armfield. It's beautiful.
I'm sorry I was sharp. I'm so glad we're friends. I hope that we can be more. Much more. You think, you think that, that I, I'm a... Aren't you? I think it's best we both go our separate ways. I'll see you in the morning. 7 a.m. sharp, as usual. I got you something in London. I want to go to Kate's saloon. Not this dump. Now, you're a bail absconder. You gotta keep a low profile. May as well be in jail. Back in a minute. So how does Kate get a cocaine? Every time a ship comes in from China, Eileen leaves the house with the baby. Ten o'clock at night, on the knocker. There's a ship in the night. If you follow that pram, you'll get to Kate Lee's cake supplier. Mate, we only get one chance. Next ship's not in for a month. Percy, relax. Hell of high water wouldn't stop me, mate. <laughs> Dulcy. Oh, sweetheart. Dulce! Forget him. We're celebrating. All right, mate. Peace off. Celebrating what? Tonight, I'm becoming the new Al Capone. Who's Al Capone? Shit. You leave me now. What? Didn't work out. <laughs> Queensland? You want to go to Queensland? I'll take you to fucking Queensland. Go tonight. Oh, and break down on our way to Newcastle. Hey, we won't be breaking down. I'm going to get you the fastest car in town. Yeah, I'll drive you anywhere. Queensland? Anywhere. I'll take you to New York. I will drive you to New York. You want someone to come to now? That's me. I'll marry you if you want. I will marry you. I'll take you anywhere. Anywhere in the world. You're kidding me, ain't you? Yes. 
Always. So sorry, Frank. Um, what you said when you were lying on my floor. Did you mean it? You know I did. Say it again. <clears throat> Bloody stitches. Doctor's a butcher. <clears throat> Still alive then? Settle down. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm here about me job offer. I told you I got a job. Yeah. And where are they? Send you flowers, did they? Mate. <laughs> what am I going to do with flowers? Well, you're going to look at them every day and they're going to remind you of my visit. And what else I bought you? What else? Hundred pounds. Yours for the taking, Frankie. But I'm not offering again. This is it. What do you want me to do? Gaffney's dead. That leaves only one gunman, and that's you, Frank. Who do you want shot? Not just shot. Shot dead. Your old boss. Tilly. Not Tilly. Big Jim Devine. I want Tilly to suffer. I want her to know what it feels like to lose someone she loves. I want to get her right where she breathes. <sighs> never came. You called him and he never came.